Welcome back. A pay-as-you-throw trash program proposal will take center stage at a public meeting tomorrow. Diane D'Amico from West Lafayette Green Commission joins me in the studio to talk all about it. First off, we've heard about the pay-as-you-throw program for a while, continuing to take steps towards actually implementing it. Is there a timetable, uh, a date we should circle on the calendar to, to start taking part in the trash program? Well, you could start taking you know, part right now. Yeah. You could today. Um, what's going to happen is that there's the public meeting tomorrow. Uh, anyone can come out and speak. There will be um, two people heading that meeting. One is Ann Hunt, who is a counselor, and um, Peter Bunder. Oh, well, he's a counselor as well. Mm -hmm. But they um, will take comments because there's been a work group meeting for quite a while um, to, to clean up that ordinance that had been proposed a few months ago. Right. The, um, the next big, uh, you could write to them or call them mm -hmm. right now or come out and tell them what, they th what you think about it. But I would advise anyone to um, find out first what the, what the new draft of that ordinance is because there's been some changes since it started. Yeah, and we've heard so much about it since it's you know infantile stages. What are you expecting tomorrow? Because on both sides of, of this issue, people are pretty spirited. Yeah, that's a good word for it. <laughs> um, I'm a little surprised at the amount of um, controversy. Um, I'm not surprised at the amount of input people have had. But I think sometimes it is um, a fear of what what's going to change. Mm -hmm. Um, two of the things that, that I think about is it's a metered trash system, which we're on Living Green, so we could talk about the environmental impact right. of that is to um, help reduce trash all around. But it's also an economic um, idea because the, um, it's like another utility. It would be, it's, it's similar to saying if you, um, I want to use all the water I can possibly use, and I want everyone to pay the same amount I'm paying or electricity, you know, another utility where you say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be able to generate uh, as much usage as I want. I can run my lights or whatever. Mm -hmm. And still, I want everyone to pay the same and amount. Nice. So, so it's an economic issue, it's an environmental issue, and it's, you know, an equality issue because it gives people really the choice to decide if they, if they need to, um, if they don't want to recycle or they don't want to compost, if they w don't want to pre-cycle and reduce their trash, or unfortunately if they can't, they still have the option of throwing more trash away. Yeah. They just would pay, pay a little more. more. And, and I guess to, to speak to that point, I mean, the biggest um, thing you're trying to teach is recycling. Because if, if you don't want to pay the extra money to throw all your stuff away, it gives you an incentive to recycle. You, you're, you're saving money and, you know, for the most part, recycling's free. Well, recycling is included in the cost of what you're paying. It's not really free. Right. And it's not really the main point because the main point is reducing trash. And um, so we can, we can do recycling education, which the Go Greener will be doing mm -hmm. as well. But we also want to educate people on just how to make choices at the store so you're not bringing that home. Or if you buy a new carpet or a new appliance, go ahead and let that company that delivers take it back because it's increasing the cost to the city to um, take that away for you. So um, right now you could throw out as much as you want in West Lafayette. There's no, right. there's no difference in, your, in the cost that you're paying. But it is important to have your voice heard no matter where you stand on the issue. Right. And public the, meetings give you the forum. And the opponents, are, they have some good points, too. They say that, you know, it's inconvenient mm -hmm. because um, they, are, they have a certain limit. And also, they're not quite sure how it would work. But this work group um, that was put together after the first vote has really worked hard. Some nights, they're there until 1030. Really? You know, um, hammering out the details. So I think... I think they could make it work. Okay, we'll see if it happens. Diane, thank you so much for Come coming in. Tomorrow. Appreciate it. It's, it's not a bad idea. West Lafayette residents, no excuse. Got to have your voices heard. Coming up at the bottom of the hour, this morning's top stories, including why a local man who just returned from Haiti says he is ready to go back. Stay tuned. <laughs>